Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and uh, in this video I wanted to give you a step-by-step -step guide how to integrate risk management into strategic planning. That is the best way I know how to integrate risk management into strategic planning and that's exactly what I have been doing for years. Now if you know a better way, do by all means write underneath this video and share it with us. But here's how I have integrated risk management when I was the head of risk of one of the sovereign funds. So, uh, step number one, and uh, we're talking about integrating into strategic planning. So, step number one, find the financial model which has all the strategic forecasts, KPIs, and all the calculations. Find it. Uh, that's actually much more difficult um, to do than it sounds. It's an intimate document. Uh, strategy of finance will hold it dear. They will hold it close to their heart. They will try everything possible to not give you access to that file. So step number one, get uninterrupted access to that Excel file and it's Excel. Step number two, cleanse that Excel file. If, um, oh actually sorry, I should rephrase that. Unless somebody in your finance team uh, or your strategy team has uh, a background in consulting and come from a big four or some other a large strategic company, or unless a separate consultant has done this financial model for your company, it's probably a mess. Because the etiquette of creating financial models is very different from people to people. Um, there's probably not any good color coding. There are broken formulas. There may be some dodgy calculations somewhere. So step number two, clean the hell out of that Excel file. That actually takes you know, weeks. You have to understand the nature of the business, and when I say clean the file, again, it sounds easy, uh, but it's actually much more complex because you have to understand the nature of the business. You have to understand the logic of the whole model. You have to uh, test everything to see if it's, uh, if it's working correctly. Step number three, find all the assumptions. Again, if the model is, uh, is clean and nice, the assumptions would be on a separate input sheet and it would be very easy to navigate because they would be nicely color coded. Um, that may well not be the case. They may be spread out throughout the model. So find all the assumptions. And again, to do that, you will actually need to understand the whole logic of the, of the model, uh, the whole logic of the business. You, by, by doing these three steps, you will actually learn more about the nature of your business and uh, the future of the business than you ever knew. So that would be an amazing exercise. Step four. Do your own homework, do like a, a typical risk identification exercise. You can talk to some of the people, you can read the documents, you can discover what else is in the industry, but you have to have your own vision of what the risks are. Risks are associated with the strategy. So do your own risk identification exercise. Step number, step number five is uh, um, match your identify risks, identified risks to the assumptions in the model. So what you will discover is that the model may likely exclude or ignore some of the most significant risks. For example, most of the values may be uh, modeled in the local currency. So that's completely disregarding the fact that some of the equipment may come from overseas, some of the raw materials may come from overseas, some of the consulting or, um, or other services may come and be denominated in other currencies. So you actually, step number five, is actually make changes to the model to make sure some of the most significant risks that you feel are important are properly reflected in the model. That means making modifications to the model, um, adding new formulas, adding new rows, so making some changes to the actual model. Uh, for any risks that you were not able to transfer, you have to make sure in your appendix, in your final report, you actually list those risks as being explicitly excluded from risk analysis. You have to be very transparent that not all risks actually made it to the final, final risk analysis. Okay, step number six is uh, for every assumption that you're going to model, allocate a distribution and a range. So find the pro appropriate distribution and the range uh, for that assumption. So replace all single value assumptions with ranges and select an appropriate distribution for that range. Step number seven, run the Monte Carlo modeling, Mon Monte Carlo simulation. 
10,000 scenarios, 50,000 scenarios, 100,000 scenarios, it's entirely up to you. Run the simulation. And uh, I have recently discovered, which I'm happy to share with you, is that Model Risk now offers a free version of their basic uh, Model Risk software. So you Google it. That, that's actually an add-on, a nice add-on to, um, to Excel, which expands functionality of Excel dramatically and allows you to run Monte Carlo simulation without the need for programming. So that's very, that's very nice thing uh, for them to do. And step number eight, regenerate, uh, make all the company KPIs, uh, strategic objectives, and all the other important factors as outputs, run the simulation, and uh, have those outputs generated. So all your KPIs, all your strategic objectives, all your cash flow liquidity metrics, instead of single values, they will become distributions as well. And step number nine, interpret what does that mean does that mean the strategy is sustainable does that mean the strategy is too risky does that mean that uh, you will get a tornado diagram does that mean some of the risks are too significant uh, some of the assumptions are too risky so you would actually have so much insight to come back to the senior management and say well our strategic objectives are actually going to be achieved 10% of the time or 90% of the time and based on that you will be able to make conclusions you'll actually be able to make recommendations what assumptions need to be revisited reassessed changed how the strategy needs to be involved to make sure it is it is sustainable so here are nine steps this is how you integrate risk management into strategic planning if you know a better way by all means do share with me thank you and goodbye